there, ladies and gentlemen. June 2nd, 2024, and we're at the Pecan Creek Pedestrian Bridge in Gainesville, Texas. Here with my daughter Lily, and we're showing you the water, how high it is. So it's pretty darn high. We came here earlier today, and there were some big trees floating down the creek, down um, Pecan Creek here in Gainesville. Now I don't see as much debris at this moment, but look how high that is. That's pretty darn high. I had a friend who posted a picture. He said with one, in one hour, he got three and a half inches of rain right here in town. And I believe him because, boy, it was just hail. We had like golf ball size hail at my house and the rain was so bad and the wind. And some branches fell down, but golly, let's look at this water. This is just uh, the force of nature here. Don't drop your phone. Yeah, I won't. We've got... So we're in Heritage Park, or JC Park, or whatever they call it these days. When I was a kid, this was called Heritage Park, all of this. And so I think they've since changed the name, but look at the water. We're right here in the middle of the bridge. What do you think of this, Lily? Have you ever seen the water this high? No, not even close. Not even close. Well, guess what? I've seen it much higher than this. When I was a kid, this creek was very narrow and I think that contributed to flooding. We had multiple floods in this creek and now we don't really flood quite as, well we haven't since they widened the creek and got the water really flowing through town much more quickly. They widened it, they straightened it out because it was zigzaggy and winding and there was all this concrete and debris down in there and so I think that was served kind of like a dam and it slowed the flow and then it really did flood badly so but even even so it's it's pretty darn high right now but it would have to get a lot higher to get up to where it was you know when it flooded when I was a kid it you know it flooded all these houses over here they were like up to the ceiling with water so it's not nearly that high what do I think there's a turtle in here yes I think there's lots of turtles you know, when I was a kid, we actually got out here and, you know, the water wasn't this high, but a friend and my, a friend, my friends and I, we, we would see turtles floating down the water while we were down there in the water, you know, standing up to our knees in the flowing water, and we'd just reach down and pick up a little baby turtle as it, as it floated by, but I don't think we could do that in this because we would drown. Oh, something in the water that looks like a lizard. It could be a stick. It could be a snake. But it's, it's, um, it's evening time, it's getting darker. And this flow is so fast that it's really, it's really dangerous, folks. I would not advise getting in here in a canoe or a kayak. Well, I don't know. If you really knew what you're doing, maybe you could do that. But the danger would be that in some areas further down the creek, you'd have low-hanging trees and branches, and, and it's moving so fast that if there's branches and debris across the top of the water, you could you couldn't avoid slamming into obstructions and maybe even getting sucked under and not, not able to get up, resurface, so. Always dangerous to get in water that's flowing like this during times of flood. So, anyway, uh, I could just watch this all day, folks. I could watch it all day, but um, you can see, you can see it. You see the point of my post, which was to just show you how high the water is here in Gainesville at this moment, at this time, sometime in the evening at Pecan Creek. All right, until next time, y'all be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm always uploading something different, something interesting, something that people really love over 95% of the time. All right, y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.